guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a review and comparison swatch video for you guys on the new Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade Mannequin. This is what it looks like here in the bottle and it does come in the very standard Jeffree Star hot pink box which I absolutely adore. Um, so you do get 5.6ml in this or if you're talking in fluid ounces you get 0 0.19 it does retail for 18 US dollars and you can buy it from the Jeffree Star website. I will have it linked down below if you're curious. Um, so that's where you can buy it from if you can find it in stock. So in terms of packaging, it's literally the exact same as all the other liquid lipsticks, as you can see here. Um, I will be comparing it against these four today. So Gemini, I'm Nude, Posh Spice, and Celebrity Skin. So I will do that at the end. Okay, so I am going to apply the liquid lipstick to my lips. I have already exfoliated my lips using the Jeffree Star Lip Scrub in Root Beer Float. And I did apply some Burt's Bees Lip Balm, which I'm going to wipe off now. Now I'm just going to give the bottle just a very very quick shake because you are supposed to shake these. This does smell like root beer float if you guys are curious. Oh that's really really pretty. It's like a milky pink. Is that even a milky pink? I don't know. I'm so terrible at describing colours. I'm so sorry. The doe foot applicator is the same with all his other applicators, so if you're familiar with those, that's what it's like. Um, it's just a kind of grooved doe foot applicator. I'm going to wipe off some of the excess just on the inside of the tube, just so I don't have too much on my applicator. <laughs> Okay, I'm not even kidding you, I've only got mannequin on my top lip, but it's literally the exact same colour as my lips. Can you see that? Almost at least. I actually really, really do like the colour. Um, I think because it is so close to my natural lip shade, um, I do feel like it's very, very complementary to my face if that makes any sense at all. Um, I do think that this is my favourite nude that he's made. I will swatch the others for you. And you can already see that that liquid lipstick has already dried down. It has emphasised the lines in my lips though, just a little bit. So if you guys can see those swatches on my hand, you have Mannequin, Celebrity Skin, I'm Nude, Posh Spice, and also Gemini. Just so you guys can get a little comparison um, against them all. I must admit... Um, I actually really, really, really like Mannequin. I think it's my perfect nude and I will definitely continue to wear it. So in terms of the colour of Mannequin, I actually really, really, really do like it as a nude. It's probably one of my favourite nude liquid lipsticks that I've found thus far in terms of colour. Um, it has emphasised the lines in my lips a little bit, but I do feel like with Jeffree's liquid lipsticks or any liquid lipsticks for that matter, if I don't use a lip primer, that does happen. So I'm not going to hold that against it. So when I do push my lips together like this, it does feel like... The majority of the collection, um, at least what I own, besides Scorpio. Scorpio to me was very, very tacky and it just it didn't feel that nice on lips, but this does feel like the rest of them, so I'm assuming that it's going to have the same amount of knocking over all the liquid lipsticks. I'm assuming that it's going to have the same longevity as the other liquid lipsticks that he has launched in the past. Now, I am going to just press my lips against this clean tissue just to see if it does transfer or not. So let's just see how that goes. Because I am going to assume that it is dry because you can't see any glossiness to it at all. Okay, so I'm going to press my lips against a clean tissue and just see if there's any transfer. Literally not even like a drop of pigment. If you can see any coloration, oopsie, if you can see any coloration there, that is actually my saliva, which is really disgusting. So ignore that. But yeah, very, very happy that it's not transferable at all, at least now. Okay, so overall with this colour, I really do genuinely like it. I think that if you're around my skin tone and you were wanting to try Jeffree Star and you did not shade to get, I would personally recommend Mannequin if you're wanting a nude. Um, purely for the fact that I think it's the most perfect balance of colours, at least compared to the rest of the shades that he's released, um, where it doesn't really feel like it's washing me out at all. It's not too light and it's not too dark. I feel like it is just a perfect shade for myself. Um, so yeah, overall, I really do like it. It does feel the exact same as the rest of the collection. And yeah, that's all I really have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye!